Now, do you have pictures of the floor before? I do not. I have no reason to. Are you back in the big house now? We are. Where is your mother? She moved back to Everett or Marysville. Your brother filed a restraining order against both of you? Correct. So that's the other part of your lawsuit. You want attorney's fees as a result of filing a false restraining order. And when he filed the restraining order, subsequent to that, you moved someplace else for a short period of time. I'm going to deal with the false restraining order, which was, in fact, tried, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And dismissed? Yes, ma'am. So I want you to tell me what you allege was the basis for your filing a restraining order against your sister and your brother-in-law. Tell me the date and the action that caused you to file the restraining order. Well, it happened sometime like January 19th was I filed the restraining order. And, January uh, 19th. So, somewhere on there, yes, ma'am. So ma shortly after you moved in. Yes, ma'am. My sister's a, she's the one that's a violent person. You moved in to your sister's house. Yes, ma'am. With initially her permission. Yes, ma'am. And you moved in in January so that you weren't there very long. Right. I want you to tell me why you filed the restraining order. Well, there's so many things that, that I could tell you. Um, no, I don't want you to tell me so many well, things. I want you to tell me the precipitating factor for you filing the restraining order against your sister be, and your brother-in-law. Because my sister and my, my sister was coming, getting very violent toward my mother and toward myself and my brother. So instead of getting a, a, a conflict with them, I filed a restraining order. They shut the water, the power off to my mom's house so my mom can't have heat. Just a second. First of all, your mom was staying there. Yes, ma'am. It's not your mother's house. Well, I call it my mom's house because she well, was staying there. Well, she was staying there. Yes, ma'am. But she was an invited guest of her well, daughter, as were you an invited guest. That's correct. Okay. Now I'd like to see the restraining order that he filed and the allegations he filed in the restraining order. I have that. Mr. Hatch. Yes, ma'am. You just told me that your sister was the violent one, right? Yes, ma'am. That's what you told me. Because she said you were the violent one. You say, actually, your sister was the violent one. And give me specifics with regard to the act of violence. Well, she burnt, like, my mom had, like, a bunch of cord of wood to heat the house. She, all day and all night, she was burning my mom's uh, wood up so my mom can't use it to heat the house. She shut the water off. So my mom couldn't use the water in the house. She came inside the house, and I was there, threatened my mom several times. And my mom owns a park house, like Jason said, about 30 feet away from the house, and it's ran on propane. She was trying to blow the trailer up, left the propane open twice, and the fire department, police department had to come to that incident. And that garage that got kicked the hole in it, Jason's the one who kicked the hole in the garage door trying to bust inside the house because we locked the house up. filed this restraining order against your brother-in-law, not your sister. The allegations oh. have to do with your sister. My sister is violent. My sister is crazy. Two years ago, my she... sister made false accusations over the phone threatening to kill me and my dogs. At the time, my dog That's is correct. still missing. Okay, these are my sister threatened my life and my mom's life. But that the is correct. order of protection that you filed was only against Mr. Brewers, her husband. Because what she would say, say he would go do. He's a puppet.